<laughs> and these women loved getting their hands into the engines. They'd write in their letters, I got to get my hands into the engine today. So imagine flying up and, you know, opening the engine and getting in there and saying, here's what's not working to, and showing it to a man. They weren't just pilots. They knew everything about those planes. They knew them by the sound of their engines in the sky. They would know what plane that is. Yes. Yes. All those hours. And it was kind of part of the job, right? Required. It's like prove yourself above and beyond. Like they knew that that's what they were up against. And, but they truly had the curiosity and the desire to as well. It's like, what does this plane do? What does that plane do? I love when they first get introduced to the bombers. Can you walk us through that? Because I know Hazel wanted to go fast and she did see some of the F's and the P's type planes. But when she got in the bombers, let's talk about those because I bet they were overwhelmed. Yes, it was an elite group of women of the wasps. Not every wasp had that opportunity. I believe there were a hundred, there were 1,072 wasps total. A hundred of them were chosen to fly either a bomber or a fighter aircraft. You got to choose. And Hazel chose fighter aircraft because they went fast. She wanted to go fast. Some women chose the bomber saying they liked the protection of it. They, they wanted it and they were giant. They said it was like taxiing a hotel down the runway. But the amazing thing about those first times is they weren't told what they were going to do. Jackie said, report to, I can't remember which air base it was. Yeah. And they get standing in front of a B-17 thinking, ooh, do you think they're gonna let us go inside? Do you think maybe we're gonna actually, and then they were thinking, what if we got to ride? No, you're going to learn to fly it. And they did. 